Hey, I just wanted to share a quick story on how uh, a pastor I know got saved back in the 70s. Uh, so he, when, when he was about five years old, uh, his, a, school a school teacher he had um, offered kids in his class a, a, a stick of gum if they would memorize John 3.16. Uh, you know, so he really wanted, you know, my, my, uh, my pastor friend, he, he really wanted that, that, that stick of gum back then. And so he, he memorized John three sixteen and got the stick of gum and, um, you know, but he didn't understand that at the time. He just did it for a stick of gum. <laughs> and, uh, you know, 15 years later when he was 20 years old, um, you know, after he was, uh, you know, I guess drinking and, uh, being, you know, disobedient to his parents throughout his teenage life and then getting into trouble, uh, becoming a young adult. You know, a lot, a lot of people, uh, they, they, they try to find religion, right? <laughs> and, uh, so anyways, he gets somehow sucked into going to a church of Christ, uh, congregation and a service, right? And, uh, but anyways, he he's sitting there he listens to the the preaching he doesn't even remember exactly what the what the guy preached on but um you know at the end of the service he's um you know he, he in his mind he's thinking oh man I'm new here these people are going to you know ask me all these questions I be I better think of some up think of of some like religious speak and he's like trying to, you know, go back into his mind and, and figure something, you know, so-called spiritual to say. And and John three sixteen pops up in his mind, and and he like he like quotes it in his mind a couple times to make sure he gets it right. And then somehow, you know, it just clicks with him what that verse means, um, where he realizes that you know, God the Father sent Jesus Christ uh, to pay for the sins of the world. And that, that includes him, you know, that, that includes my pastor friend. And, uh, so my, my friend got saved, like, you know, right there. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I guess they, the, the congregation sang another hymn and it was, uh, the song blessed redeemer, Jesus is mine. And he just understood that song. It all clicked for him. And, um, you know, and then later on, like he kept going there and then he realized that, you know, the Church of Christ or they believe, you know, hardcore that if you're not baptized, you're, you're going to bust hell wide open. And, and uh, you know, he kind of got into an argument with the pastor and they wanted to baptize him. And he's saying, no, well, I, I'm I'm saved, you know, John 3, 16, John 3, 16. <laughs> And the pastor's like, no, you need to be baptized to be saved. And he's like, no, uh, I have everlasting life. <laughs> I believe John 3, 16, Jesus died for me. He's mine. He's my redeemer. You know, <laughs> praise the Lord, you know, that, that he got he got saved, you know, technically, in, you know, in a Church of Christ congregation in spite of what, you know, the heresies that that guy was preaching from the pulpit there. And um, I just want to say this also, you know, if... If if baptism is required for salvation, uh, well, you have three major problems. If that's true, one is uh, nobody in the Old Testament got baptized, so are they all in hell? No, of course they're not. Um, two, and probably the biggest one is that you know, if you need to be saved by baptism, then why was Jesus Christ baptized? Do you do you think Jesus Christ needed to be saved? Absolutely not. You know. Um, I remember last year I, I knocked on some guy's door and he, he was he was Church of Christ and I asked him that because he, he was just hardcore saying, you know, you need to be baptized or you're not saved. And, and I said, well, do you think Jesus sinned before? And that's why he needed to be baptized. And the guy's like, yeah, of course. And then, you know, I, I just kind of had to go to the next door because the guy wouldn't, he wouldn't budge. He couldn't understand that, you know, the whole point of why Jesus Christ was able to, pay for our sins was because he lived a perfect sinless life and was God manifested in the flesh. Um, and lastly, uh, you know, a third reason, you know, even after the cross and, and what people would say, you know, the church age, right? Um, 
Paul writes in uh, 1 Corinthians one seventeen, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross, the, the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto them... Or, but but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God, and you know, Amen. We are saved through the you know through faith in in the shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross. But uh, that's another interesting passage. You know, in the in Corinthians chapter one, Paul, uh, towards the middle of that chapter, Paul starts uh, sort of re- rebuking the the Corinthian church because they're they're picking the this the sides of men and they're almost like in a way like idolizing men and and they're forming these different groups and saying i ah, you know i we're of paul or we're of Apollos, we're of cephas and and paul saying you know basically was i baptized for you know it, it was jesus christ and jesus christ isn't divided and um and these people are almost like in a way sort of like worshiping paul in verse 14 he says i thank god that i baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, and, and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. And, uh, you know, and then later in verse 17, he he says, uh, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. You know, so if baptism's part of the gospel, that's a really weird thing for the Apostle Paul to say. You know, this uh, the guy who wrote most of the New Testament and went, and went around so many places preaching the gospel would be weird if you know <laughs> if you needed to be saved by baptism um so yeah those two things prove that you can't be saved by baptism but you know i i love john three sixteen. and my uh my pastor friend he loves john three sixteen, and i think it's great that uh you know the people that believe john three sixteen are the um are the true church of Christ that walk in, in the spirit and in truth and not, you know, not, not just in name only, but are, um, you know, spiritually dead inside because they're trusting in their own dead works. Um, anyways, I hope this was a blessing to somebody. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I pray that, you know, if there's somebody that goes to the, you know, the church of Christ denomination that they, they realize that, you know, if you're trusting in your own baptism, you're trusting in you, in yourself and what you do, and you're actually not trusting in Jesus, and uh, you're you're denying the fact that that He paid all your sins. So, uh, look, don't look at yourself. Look unto Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That whosoever can be you. In Jesus' name, Amen.